Free the people. Here on this beautiful day in downtown Coburg, I'm Tamara Ugolini with Rebel News. Joining here on the Saturday afternoon, the protests that happen weekly here at Victoria Hall. Uh, there's a lot of signage and different views that seem to take place in front of this location. So the town of Coburg has actually decided to once again close the street down and allow the businesses and restaurants to extend their storefronts into the main street. I'm going to head in and see who we meet today and get some opinions. Hi, so what brings you to the town of Coburg today? Uh, we're just vacationing here. Okay, do you mind me asking where you're from? Oshawa, Ontario. Oh, right on. And so are you sta you're staying locally then? Yes, we are. Yep. And so how do you feel knowing that the town council closed the beach to keep the outsiders away? Uh, you know what? It's, it's too bad because I know uh, Coburg's a destination people come to every year. They love coming to it. Uh, locals enjoy it as well. Uh, it is really unique what Coburg has, and it's uh, it's really a sad story, and I really don't think it's justified. And you're enjoying the downtown core being shut down for storefronts? Yeah, very nice. That's good. Yeah. And how do you feel about the beach being closed uh, until the end of the month and then potentially town council extending? Totally behind it, 100%. So is it safe to be here in the street festival and not at the beach, and why do you think that is? Well, because the beach was way more crowded than downtown and more out-of-towners would be going to the downtown, which, uh, the, you know, there's pockets around with COVID being high and we're low here, so I think it's good for our community to keep us all safe. If people don't want to come out and use the beach because they're, they're fearful that they're going to uh, catch the COVID-19, uh, uh, then uh, that's that's their decision but take away the people's our, our our freedom our rights that's that's what really is i i guess perturbing for me hey there i see you're standing maybe seeking some shade what brings you to coburg today we came to enjoy waterfront the, the waterfront in downtown and did you know that the beach was closed when you came yes, yes we did what yeah. a shame eh? yes <laughs> what a shame. Do you, you think it's a shame well i do but i mean depends on how much cleanup we want to do after would you be surprised to know that a lot of the people I've interviewed down here today are actually from out of town? I wouldn't good. be surprised. That's good. That's the good. town needs it. So the town needs the out of towners, but we should keep the beach closed to prevent them from coming? Yes. Yes. We're from Toronto. Okay. Last, and last person I told that to as soon as I said Toronto, they take five steps <laughs> back. Well, that's because the town council here has terrified people yeah. by closing the beach <laughs> right. in order to try to that's keep right. the out of towners away. I'm not even sure why it's closed. Do you know? <laughs> uh, well, apparently a big deciding factor for town council was so that they could keep out of towners away. Okay, well, that sounds really reasonable. And so, but you're from out of town? Right. <laughs> well, we just have to respect the laws of the of the town, I guess. That's, do you think it would be safe to have the beach open and, and frequent down there? Honestly, I'm not going to say anything because I don't know how to feel about the whole COVID thing. They've always been saying about a second wave coming through, right? So if you know a second wave is going to come through, it's going to be worse than the first wave. Why do you open up uh, the restaurants and the gyms and all that? That's very hypocritical. Do you find that's a bit hypocritical? No. No. Not if we want to Because the people safe. are going to the beach to be on the beach. The people are not coming necessarily to the downtown area. So then if they come to go to the beach and then they would leave again, uh, whereas the out-of-towners are coming here to frequent shops and restaurants, what's more safe? The ones that come to shop. So here today? The community, yes. The ones that come from out of town to shop, not the beach. I think majority of people are very knowledgeable and are keeping themselves distancing. And I think it would be nice to have the uh, beach open. I mean, all those people have rented the spot there for their trailers. <laughs> yeah, the trailer park is uh, pretty much full uh, from what I saw. I was down there th uh, throughout the week. And of course, the marina has a lot of people from everywhere. So uh, do you think it's a bit hypocritical to close one section and keep everything in around it open? I think it's hypocritical unless there's a con closed space here that needs to be closed. You know, and I don't think that's the situation at the moment. The beaches in Toronto are open. 
uh, up in Barrie, Innisfil, everywhere they're, they're open, Jackson's Point, they're all open. I mean, Coburg has been very compliant all along, you know. Uh, I, I do a lot of walking and people go off the sidewalk and we say good morning and, uh, and uh, people just look after each other and that's what we're here for. And could they do that similarly at the open beach? Well, the beach is huge, and uh, I mean, but you know yourself, if it was packed, <laughs> you know, in previous years, and if other places are closed, uh, people will look for the one opening, so. What, what brings you to Coburg today? Uh, for just the street, the street fest, or the little walking of, for the businesses and help the businesses a little bit. Yeah, thank you for doing that. That's, that's wonderful of you. Are you a Coburg resident? No, I live about 20 minutes north of Roseneath. Okay, and so what do you think about the beach closure? <laughs> 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 well, is, is Toronto's beaches closed? No, Toronto oh beaches are all open. Jeez, exactly. isn't, that, isn't that interesting? Hey there, I'm reporting for Rebel News today. What brings you guys to Coburg? Uh, just uh, from Toronto. Yeah. And so you're just checking out the street festival? or? No, we just actually no, came for the beach. For leisure. Yeah. Not for the beach, but it's closed. No, we just came for the walk. <laughs> Do you think that it should be opened? I'm not so sure. Like, uh, it's a risk, it's right, for the town? <laughs> isn't it? Well, that, that's an interesting question because uh, if there's a risk on the beach, we wonder how risky it is to close the street to pedestrian traffic and host events. I don't know. Yeah, I would say that it's unusual that Coburg has this beach closed while Toronto Beach is open, so that's kind of, you know, weird. In a way. And now Town Council is actually proposing to prolong the closure until October 17th. I don't blame them. I don't blame them. There are yeah, plenty of other beaches for people to go to, right? So and the zone and the risk to themselves, right? Which is yeah. And yet they uh, they close down the street for for a fest, a mini festival here. But this hardly seems like the kind of traffic that you'd have on a beach, isn't it? Isn't this a lot less than you'd see on a beach? Well, in typical years, the tourism department markets the beach pretty heavily, so that of course has not happened at all this year. Mm -hmm. um, and it sort of has begged the question for some of the locals of how safe it is to do what you're doing here on pavement, but it's not safe to do it on the sand. Um, so we're moving? <laughs> we're, so we're not stationary, whereas on the sand you're kind of stationary in one place? So I suppose that's the difference. I don't know. Me and my wife like to travel on weekends, right? She always likes to stop at Coburg. We went shopping. She bought a few other things. She just likes the town, you know? We want to go to the beach. If you go down the beach and you see all those uh, campers, they're all disappointed eh? because they never knew that they were going to shut down the beach. So I personally think it's doing more harm to the economy here than any good. Well, there seems to be several different walks of life here in downtown Coburg on this beautiful afternoon. You can see that uh, the, the mandate to attempt to keep the out-of-towners away hasn't necessarily worked very well for the town of Coburg, especially as they close their streets down for festivals and special events. For Rebel News, I'm Tamara Ugolini. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And to receive premium content, go to rebelnewsplus.com and subscribe today.